the phone here. I know you're busy. What's your favorite color? This is um, like this dark, deep blue. And what's your favorite animal? Huh? But really, how is it growing up on the internet? I can't say that. It sounds so strange. Now that you've turned 18, uh, do, you, do you ever feel old? Paper, which is a youth culture magazine. Yeah, it's made by and for young people. It's not like every other youth culture magazine made by, you know, adults. Um, there was lacking a youth magazine or youth culture magazine that was actually having, you know, honest um, reflections about being a young person and. Um, also kind of reporting on the youth environment and the youth scene from an insider's point of view. Hello, Bruce. <laughs> How I see it is like, it's 500 people sitting in each of their own bedrooms spread all around the world, working borderless and genderless and ageless through online, you know, platforms. We created, like, together a safe space to, to dress however you want and look however you want and be however you want. It's just, like, pure creativity. Um, you know, if I wouldn't have internet friends, I don't know what I would do. You know, I'm like a lonely child. I didn't have any like siblings to play with, so I had to like do stuff myself. I had to be in my room and turn my room into a dentist or a hairdresser or a hotel or a restaurant or a TV fucking studio or something. can't find what you're looking for in the store or whatever, then you make it yourself. So it means that you're like ultra like imaginative. It's like the very like fundamental part of creating something, doing it yourself. And that's essentially what we've always been doing with the magazine. I need to be alone so that I can hit a balance between work and restitution. I think being in the nature for me is fundamental. I need to be just experiencing silence because none of us does that anymore.
my mission has always been to give kids a voice. When we first started, the industry rejected us because of our age. Now brands and media outlets have realized that they depend on us to fuel their corporate initiatives. We're basically just props for their agenda. When you hear Tijuana first, gray-haired people write us blank checks and hope to become young and relevant again. Shouldn't the focus of the leaders in the industry be to serve the creative forces and not their own pockets? When will they understand the importance of shifting the creative landscape? Recents needs to be run by kids. Now at 18, I am no longer a minor and will no longer be suitable for my position as the editor of a magazine essentially made by and for young people. I refuse to occupy or claim my title for egoistic desires. There's already enough of the people who would. I hope that my resignation sparks a movement for others. Maybe we will now see the veterans announce their resignation from their overstayed fashion and art world positions. I do as I do, I look and make the distance and watch it. Like somehow I regret. I tell the truth. I will hand over the reins for someone continue to connect with like-minded people online and to define their own culture on their own terms. When you ask me if I'm sure I am not My time has succeeded. Do you feel like you've missed out on anything? Finding success so young? I mean, do you, do you drink? Do you smoke? You give me nothing. You give me nothing. You give me nothing, but everything still the same. You give me nothing but everything still the same You give me nothing but everything still the same You give me nothing but everything still the same